Hi, my name's Glenn Vickery and welcome to my YouTube channel Kiwi Bushcraft and Survival. Today we're going to be covering a uh, another tree, native tree, and um, this particular one is called tea tree or cabbage tree is the common name. And um, even though it's called cabbage tree, no it doesn't grow cabbages on it, um, but you can eat parts off it, okay. Um, the Māori name, Tikauka. Okay, this is one of my, another favourite of mine. Uh, reason being is that you can do so many things with it. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so here's the cabbage tree here. Okay, it's got a very uh, tufted tufts. It got it's got tufts of leaves. Okay, and the leaves. Uh, well, it's got tufts of leaves, and the um, trunk of the tree is looks like so okay here's the trunk of the tree there all right and it just goes up into the tufts of leaves now the tufts of leaves are sort of roundish okay and um, the leaves are fantastic for uh, weaving okay you can make all sorts of things out of the leaves and obviously um, cordage now these leaves are very very strong and you can make very very strong cordage um, so that alone makes this tree extremely valuable okay so this is a quite a young tree it's probably about this is probably about two meters high I would say um, and so this one in particular could be used the roots um, under the ground you can cook those okay um, it's best to cook those um, uh, in early spring or before the tree starts to flower now if we come in a little bit closer here you can see these little berries okay and the berries here are on the uh, stem goes right up here and the stem comes down and you can see all the little berries okay now um, these berries are obviously um, pro in spring there's flowers and then the berries come from that okay and then obviously the berries get eaten by the birds and the birds uh, poop them out and drop the seeds and that's you know they that more cabbage trees or uh, tea trees uh, will carry on to grow growing okay um, so um, the roots can be eaten um, prior to spring and uh, that's when they're most uh, sweetest, they taste the nicest. Um, also on the size of tree, anything under two meters um, can be uh, cooked as well, the in, inside of the, uh, the trunk of the tree, okay? And so that would normally take quite a bit of preparation and a lot of steaming in the uh, hangi or in the earth oven, all right? Um, I've never actually tried it, but um, apparently it's it's uh, from reading and things like that. It's um, it was very popular, um, and obviously this tree was uh, cultivated um, or planted uh, for that purpose uh, specifically. So it was very very important. Um, probably the third and most un, um, valuable part of this tree. Is, this is a young one here by the way right beside this other one like this is really really a really really young uh, version of the tree I'll come back a bit so you can see all right that's a young young version of it and um, probably the most important part that I find is the um, young shoots I'd probably call it the young shoots or the youngest leaves that are growing out of the top of the stem. So if we come in here, all right, and I'll try and get, give you a best shot possible. If we, you, what you do is you go to the the top um, part of the shoot. So there's a shoot here, okay, and we go in, all right, and we grab, we take the outer leaves out, okay. I'll try and get in a bit closer. We take the outer leaves away, okay, and we you get this part here in the middle right you can see it's where it's sort of white and we want to pull that down okay 
you can see in here it's white okay get that part and pull it down all right and that will give us this part of the stem okay all right this part here all right so we can going up you can see it going right up to the top okay so it'll come out a bit okay so this part here down the bottom this white part here is the edible part okay and this is where I would say it probably gets its name uh, cabbage tree from so what you want to do is take off the outer layers some more of these outer layers of um, the leaves I'm just trying to do this with one hand it's a little bit difficult okay take off some of these outer layers all right we'll get into some of this cleaner part all right and the further you go down the more tender it's going to be okay now this white part you can chew on it um, we'll come back a bit yeah okay so this white part here you can chew on it okay just like a um, cabbage all right what does it taste like it tastes like uncooked cabbage all right again probably where it got its name from what's the fl it's very easy to um chew on it's probably less it's, it's quite softish so it's not as hard as cabbage but it's got the same kind of texture um the flavor it's not so bad you know um if you get it at a certain type part of the season um it, it, it can be quite bland um a bland taste um or flavor but um at the moment that's fine take out the blandness and add some salt or add some lemon um to 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 it um boil it up and you're you know you're all good but this here is a survival food okay and it's very similar to um way of eating this to um or exactly the same way as eating um nikau nikau tree which is new zealand um our new zealand palm tree all right it's probably our only palm tree native palm tree so um beautiful yeah really 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 good and grows all um this can be eaten all year round and uh cabbage tree grows all around the country so um yeah perfect for a uh, survival situation um, if you're stuck out in the bush, um, uh, look for the cabbage tree or tikauka, or, or otherwise known as also tea tree. Okay, um, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, please uh, subscribe, um, like, and um, share. Share the videos. It's not a problem. Um, so here we go. Cabbage tree, fantastic. I just thought I'd, um, before I go, I'm just going to show you another version of the cabbage tree. Okay, it's the same cabbage tree, but here it is a bit longer. There's a little one down there growing in there. Okay, another little one. Okay, but the cabbage tree goes up. All right, and there's the uh, tufts at the top. Okay, so they can grow quite, quite tall. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me.